Hi friends, we are on lesson three of the life cycles and traits. Um, lesson three, traits influenced by the environment. This starts on page, um, actually it's not 184, I'm sorry. It's pages 190 through, let's see, 200. Okay. All right, so let's get started on page 190. It says, quest, check-in, hide me. The mystery, the mystery environment will probably have predators and prey. Camouflage or blending in with the surroundings is one way that animals survive. Animals with the best camouflage are more likely to survive. By blending in with the surroundings, prey animals can avoid being eaten. Predators can use camouflage to hide from their prey until they are ready to strike. Draw a line from each animal to the environment where it could be best camouflaged. So you can see there's this cool little fish, looks like sand. He'd blend in well with the sand. And then there's this really cool tiger that would really go well in grass like um uh kind of like brown grass and then that snake would go really well on twisted tree trunks and branches and greenery on page 191 it says extreme science <clears throat> mammal eggs the duck billed platypus is extreme for more is is extreme for more than one reason. It uses its bill to sense electricity. Males produce poison, which is rare among mammals. Females release milk through the skin on their bellies. Perhaps their most unusual feature though is that they are mammals that lay eggs. Mammals are warm-blooded animals with bones. Scientists think that ancient ancestors of mammals laid eggs. But that was many millions of years ago. Today, nearly all mammals give live birth. The platypus, however, has inherited the ancient trait of laying eggs. The only other mammal that lays eggs are enchidnas. Enchidnas, I totally said that wrong. Enchidnas are closely related to the platypus. How does a platypus provide evidence that traits can vary among similar animals? Now remember, we use the words in the question in our answer. Platypus can provide evidence that traits can vary among similar animals because they are mammals that lay eggs. This shows that there can be differences among similar animals. <clears throat> Top of page 192. <clears throat> I'd like to point out that on Discovery Education, there's a video called Genetic Engineering inside transgenic plants. This is a really good video to watch. I believe it's like three minutes um, to understand what they're talking about on this page. Okay, a fruitful change. What do you think an engineer helps to build? Most people probably think of big projects such as bridges and towers but some engineers make things too small to see. Genetic engineering is a way that using technology to change the traits of an organism. Scientists have used genetic engineering to make fruits that ripen more slowly. They have modified plants so that they can resist pets that eat them. They have made tomatoes that are bigger and last longer. 
genetic engineering has many useful purposes. <coughs> and you can see the three pictures are kind of showing the laboratory they use um, and what they do with that plant and how they're taking data. The lady has a clipboard. Both ladies have clipboards. And how they're, that's a tomato plant, the bottom picture. Okay. Define it. It is time to make, oh, this is on page 193. It is time to make a better plant. You are a genetic engineer. Choose a fruit or vegetable that someone might buy in a grocery store. How can you make the fruit or vegetable better? Okay, so don't copy mine. It's okay if you do, but please try to think of your own fruit or vegetable and, and talk to me about it. Okay, so number one, what fruit or vegetable would you like to prove, improve? Remember, use the words in the question in your answer. I would like to improve apples. What are some traits of the fruit or vegetable? Some traits of the fruit is round, sweet, and about the same size as my fist. Which trait would you like to improve and why? The next trait I would like to improve is to make the apples grow larger or taste sweeter. Define the problem you will solve with genetic engineering. Tell what trait you will change. Describe the new improved trait. I could look for information about what makes apples sweet. I could find out what makes apples grow large. I could make the changes in the plants to make the apples sweeter and larger. Okay, top of page 194, lesson three, traits influenced by the environment. <coughs> Sports connection. Chance was an active dog. So Chance is the name of the dog. She enjoyed playing fetch, running around outside and chasing other dog friends. She even took part in dog shows. Chance survived a bad accident, but could not use her hind legs. During recovery, Chance was not able to be active. Without activity, Chance gained weight. This caused the veterinarian to worry about the pup's health. The family that Chance lived with got help to make a special cart to allow her to run again. With wheels on the back, Chance could once again play fetch and, ran and run around. People no longer needed to worry about her weight. Identify. What trait of the dog was, was affected and caused concern? Remember, you should use the words that are in the question in your answer. The trait of the dog that was affected and caused concern was her weight. Top of page 195. <coughs> There are three discovery education videos I'd like you to watch so that you can understand what this experiment is all about. If you have the ingredients and can do the experiment, it's quite fun. If you can't, again, the videos will help you understand it. It says, how can the environment affect an organism? Yeasts are living things that are related to mushrooms. They live in moist places. They need sugar to stay alive and reproduce. How can differences in the environment affect yeast? Make a plan to investigate how differences in the environment can affect growth of yeasts. Use all the materials. Identify the variable you will test and control all other variables. Show your plan to your teacher. Okay, so the observation shows that we have a control cup and we have an experimental cup. So in the controlled cup, we're going to add three teaspoons of warm water and three teaspoons of yeast, and then we're going to stir it up. 
we're also going to add in the control cup one teaspoon of sugar and stir it. In the experimental cup, we're going to add again three teaspoons of warm water, three teaspoons of yeast, and stir it. And then we're going to add one teaspoon of vinegar and stir. So one cup, the controlled cup has the sugar and the experimental cup has the vinegar. And I want you to observe it for 10 minutes. You're going to hang out with it for 10 minutes and see what happens. It's very interesting. Analyze and interpret data. Explain. Can the environment affect living things? Use evidence from your data to support your answer. The environment can affect living things by how much an organism reproduces. When the yeast did not get sugar, it did not reproduce. Okay. All right. So turn to page 196. Cross-cutting concepts and toolbox. Cause and effect. Scientists look for patterns in nature that show cause and effect. What is the effect, cause and effect relationship that Saguro, I hope I said that right, Saguro cactuses show? The answer to this question is on the bottom of the page, 196. Let's read that at the bottom of the page. It says, why did it happen? That's the cause. And what happened? That's the effect. So looking at the picture to the left, there's not enough water. So there's one long, tall tree and no branches. The little picture to the top is there has been a lots of water. And there's tall trees with lots of branches. Okay, the top of page 196. Inherited traits and the environment. The pictures show two different Cerego Cer cactuses. Cerego cactuses are usually tall with one main stem. Some Cerego bran branch out, while others do not. Why are their shapes so different? Scientists study the growth pattern of Cerego cactuses they found that these plants form more branches when the environment has more water. Many of the traits of the Sagreo cactuses are inherited from the parents. These include its shape. But the environment also affects the shape of the cactus. The amount of water makes the difference. Infer. Which photo shows an environment that probably has more water? The photo that shows probably more water is the one with the, the branching cactuses because the sagreo has more branches when it gets more water. Okay, I'm going to make another video to finish off this lesson. Nice job. Kiss your brain.